Have you ever wanted to fly through the air with the greatest of ease? Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be learning all about the flying trapeze. What kind of traits are you working on or practicing when you're doing the flying trapeze yourself? If someone's very graceful, is also someone that makes it look easy that anybody could do it, but when anybody do it, they realize it's much harder than it looks. Is it more of a sport or an art, would you say? Definitely an art. Where would you most likely see it performed? Most circuses have flying trapezes, but it's something that's very traditional, very family-oriented. So it always starts with a family, and they travel around. And who would you say is most attracted to trying this activity? Most of it are people that have a child heart and the unfilled dream of doing circus, and they just realize that it is possible for them to do it. Can anyone try this activity? Definitely, from kids, adults, older people, people self-claim out of shape. It is really what we're trying to do here is to share circus to as many people as we could. And what about people who are afraid of heights? Nine out of ten people is afraid of heights. So it is very normal, but it is a very safe activity. We have safety measures and everything that makes it not as scary safety-wise, but is yet still in midair. So. Are there any terms that we'll hear a lot about during the lessons? First, you'll hear a lot the word listo, meaning ready in Spanish. We use listo a lot in circus to honor Mexicans that are to me probably the best fires history had. You'll hear another one very often is hep. Hep meaning go in most of times, but we don't say go because it also rhymes with no. So when you have a split of a second to make a decision and you're not sure if it said go or no, well, we use a lot the word hep. What can someone expect to be able to do at the end of their first lesson? The first trick we teach people is what we call a knee hang, meaning that you will end up swinging by your knees upside down in midair. Can it be considered a workout? Definitely a workout. From your head to your toes, your abs, your arms, everything will work. You'll see soon. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.